Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the all-new Reddington Tilt. The Tilt is Reddington's new Euro nymphing specific reel, and it's got some really cool quirks and features, and we're going to find out what they are right now. All right, so we're gonna start with the unboxing part here and show you what you'll get when you receive your Reddington Tilt. First thing you'll see is the reel comes in this really nice, very well padded case. And then you'll see a little plastic bag with an Allen wrench and we'll get to that in a minute, but you'll definitely wanna save it as it's pretty important to this reel. And of course, standard Reddington manual. And this here is the Reddington Tilt, and it's very, very different from any other reel that I've ever put my hands on. So you might be asking yourself, what makes a reel a Euro nymphing reel, and what makes this Tilt so different? Well, first and foremost, you've got the full cage design. Push down on this button, take off the spool. You'll notice that this reel has a full cage. And it's important for Euro Nymphing because you're often using really long mono leaders. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that none of that slips through the frame of the reel. And that's exactly what this does. The second thing that makes this a Euro specific reel, and one of the things that is really, really interesting about the Tilt is this weight system. The Tilt has three one ounce removable weights giving it a total weight of about 8.8 .8 ounces, which is absolutely insanely heavy for a reel of this size. We're talking a two through five weight, depending on the weight of your Euro rod. This reel is absolutely insanely heavy, but it's not without a purpose. As it turns out, 8.8 .8 ounces balances some of the older 11 foot rods really, really well. So, put a heavy reel, hold your Euro rod out, you're gonna get that optimal balance so you're not fighting the tip. But Reddington realized that not everyone's got an 11 foot rod. And so they made these weights here removable. And let me show you how that works. Going back to our trusty Allen wrench here, we're gonna take that out, stick it in the outside of the frame here, just loosen that up a bit and then spin our one ounce weight until it comes off. Pull out the screw and the washer and we are done. I've now taken this reel from 8.8 .8 ounces to 7.8 .8 ounces. So do the math, 6.8 ounces, 5.8 ounces. One thing is that's really odd about this is that there's no filler for this reel. So after you take off your weights, you're kind of left with this weird hole. It's an odd design quirk and not something that I would have done if I were designing the reel, but functionally, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And please don't forget if you're enjoying this video, 100% of our videos are funded through your support by purchasing tackle at tridentflyfishing.com. Now let's go over some of the key features on this reel. The drag, while not super important for a freshwater reel, is pretty strong. It's gonna be your same standard disc drag type. And of course, as you would expect with a freshwater reel, it is not sealed. But it does have some pretty good drag strength. And frankly, probably a bit too much for most of your Euro nymphing needs. You're never gonna to have to crank this down, but it's also really nice and smooth. In terms of spool design, Reddington also did some really cool things here. You probably noticed as I took this apart how narrow and large this spool is. It's actually one of the narrowest and largest spools for a reel of this size. And why is that important? Well, this reel, depending on how you fill it with backing, will pick up between nine and 10 inches per turn, which is absolutely insane for a freshwater reel. We tested the Lightspeed M last time, and that was our best performing saltwater reel in terms of pickup at nearly 13 inches, but this is a tiny freshwater reel by comparison. So if you're looking for that ultra, ultra fast competition level line pickup, this has got it for sure. 
And another part of that spool design, if you are gonna be using this, and probably literally everyone will be as a Euro-specific reel, when you go to check out on tridentflyfishing.com, we do recommend you choose the custom backing option. And what that means is we'll contact you and ask for more information about how you'd like this rigged. And the reason that's important is because if you're fishing a super thin diameter line like the Phipps line from Rio, you can actually fit a lot more backing onto this. And while there is some weight to that, you also will increase that line pickup if it's important to you. In terms of sound, this reel is pretty muted. We'll give you a preview of what that sounds like here. And it's muted in both directions. Definitely not my favorite sounding reel by any means, but it's fine. Last but not least is our ergonomics. And the drag knob is big. It's definitely easy to grasp. It's got about 2.1 turns of drag if you really crank it down. Of course, like I said, most freshwater anglers will not use anywhere near all of that drag, but it does slip off a little bit if I'm really trying to grasp it in a strange way. The handle is also fine, but a little bit small. Reddington uses a little bit of rubber here. It gives it a nice sort of tactile feel, but I do find that it is just a little bit too small for my liking. The all new Reddington Tilt retails for $249 and is available with free shipping from tridentflyfishing.com. If you have questions about the new Tilt, don't hesitate to give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us anytime at support at tridentflyfishing.com. Tell me how you enjoyed this video by leaving a comment in the box below. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.